Hello boys and girls. I'm going to sh try and show you how to make this easy flat bread. I think you can probably do it without my help, but I'm just going very quickly through the instructions, which if you follow exactly, you will be very successful with. Now in your goodie bag, you already have seen this, you will find you have got a packet of flour measured out with the salt. Put that flour into a bowl and having washed your hands and put a pity on, of course, um, put the flour into the bowl and then uh, add the water. The water, you need 100 mils of water, measure it out into a, into a bowl or a jug first and very gradually pour it into your, into your flour mixture and then with one finger, mix it round till it's all mixed together. When you've done that, take your oil and put two tablespoons, that's a big spoonful of, water, of oil into the uh, flour and water mixture and then knead it. Now knead means either with one hand or two hands make a lovely ball of dough like, like this. I've already done it because it takes too long and you've got to do that for five minutes till it's lovely and smooth and not too sticky. If it is too sticky put some more flour in and if it's too dry put a little bit tiny little bit more water in. Okay, so you have a lovely ball of dough like that. Now, as it says on the instructions, you can put that, leave that, uh, leave that for uh, 30 minutes, or if you're in a hurry, use it straight away. And what you do is you divide the dough into about four or six balls like this. So I've got, you just pull, pull it apart, and then you have six or eight uh, balls of, uh, four or six balls of dough about like a small tennis ball, like that, okay? And then on your floured board, here's my floured board, you put your, your dough ball and with a, with a rolling pin, roll it out. Um, now, I don't know if you can see around, I'm, I'm rolling it out, so here we are, that's it. Um, with my rolling pin, putting a little bit more flour on um, so that it doesn't stick to the board and I'm making a piece of flat bread like this and now I'll put the, I'll put the uh, cooker on now the mummy will have to do this or big sister or dad or whoever is with you today um, make sure that you have a grown-up to do this part and I'm going to put some hot, put some oil on my frying pan and then I'm going to put the when it's hot enough I'm going to put that in the frying pan for two minutes and it will rise up slightly and then we'll turn it over. There's the, there's the first one I've made. It's gone, it's gone quite golden coloured um, on both sides and that's how you do it. And you will then put it on a, I've put mine on a piece of, a, of um, kitchen uh, paper and you can put, you can put pieces, of ki pieces of kitchen paper between each one as you make them. Um, and and then cover them with a clean tea towel to keep them warm while while you're making the oven. So there's my clean tea towel over the kitchen roll. And here's my one that is cooking well here. And if you've got some tongs, use them. Use it to flip over. And I'm, I'm using a spatula. Flip it over. Cook it on the oven. Can you see? It's it's gone quite nice and golden probably needs a little bit more it will rise slightly now and that's just like the woman um, in um, our story who made who made a flatbread out of a tiny little bit of flour and oil for her son and then there was still enough to make another one for Elijah and herself and and on and on and on because God helped them um, to not to starve so that's what our story is about and this is a kind of flatbread I think we've got a slightly more um, equipment than that poor lady had um, in our story. But I hope you enjoy making that, but do be careful. Bye for now.